TradingView is the number one application to use if you want to become a full-time day trader. So in this video, not only am I going to show you the entire setup, I'm going to show you every single little thing step by step. So by the end of this video, you will be ready to start trading. All right, first things first, I want you to head over to tradingview.com and create an account in the top right hand corner so that you can get started with the application. Once you have that, you are able to look at all the charts and everything on the home screen of the website. But what you could do is head over to more and download the desktop app. You're going to see right here, you can click on download for Windows, download for Mac, download for Linux. I guarantee that this is going to help you a billion percent. So do it. All right. Welcome to TradingView. This is a very, very daunting platform, I know. So we're going to break down literally everything for you from step one. By the end of this video, you will guaranteed know every function of this program. All right, so let's get started. First things first, you're gonna have this screen that looks like this. Now, we're gonna go from top to bottom here. So the very first thing you're gonna see up here is going to be your tabs. Now, you're gonna have Uber right here. You see 7841, this is your stock price. So all of this is just basically showing what stock is on the screen. You can have multiple tabs on TradingView and all of these different tabs are going to allow you to create new layouts and you can basically create whatever you want now below that you're going to see the area where you log into your stuff you'll see home help center notifications what's new all that stuff is cool but what i want to show you guys first is going to be right here this little plus button you're going to see something called compare symbol now what you can do is you can type in any stock symbol let's say microsoft for example you can type in microsoft stock symbol you can click it and compare the results of microsoft to whatever you're looking at right now so for example, you see right here, we're on Uber, but I've got Microsoft currently compared to the price of Uber at the moment. So it's a pretty useful tool. I don't really use it that much, but you guys can use that. Next to that, you're going to see the time frames. Now, what you're going to use these time frames for is to get an understanding of how the stock is moving from a macro point of view. So for example, always want to make sure that you know what the stock is doing on a weekly time frame then you can go ahead and start moving to lower time frames to get a better feel of what the stock is doing for a lower period of time because as day traders you're not going to use the weekly chart when trading right you're going to use something around the one hour or the 15 minute or the five minute or even lower than that the two minute or the one minute right for day trading i'm always typically using the one hour the 15 minute the five minute and the two minute. And I always use these time frames every single day. So I don't use the three month time frame. I don't use the six month time frame. Those are the most important time frames to use. Next to that, you're going to have line charts here. You're going to have line with markers, step lines. These are just all different types of ways of showing your chart. So you can have area graphs. My number one is always going to be candles, the standard candlestick chart. They've been used for over a bajillion years in trading, so I stick to those. Next to this tab, you're going to have the indicators section. The indicators tab is going to allow you to put tools on your chart to help you trade. So for example, the most important indicator that I could possibly recommend to anyone is volume weighted average price, also known as VWAP. This tool right here will allow you to know basically what the trend looks like or what the price is doing on a stock chart. This is not the point of the video though. So if you want a video on indicators, drop a comment. I'm looking at you right here. Drop a comment and I'm going to drop a video on indicators for you, but only if we get a bunch of comments. I, I don't feel like doing it otherwise. All right, so let's take the indicators off the chart. Now we do have some indicator templates here. Next to the indicators tab, you're going to see something along the lines of swing trading or your oscillators, X EXP ribbons. I don't use any of these. So I wouldn't touch this with a 10 foot pole if I were you guys. All right, next to that, you're going to have an alert area here. Typically to make an alert, I'll always just right click on the chart instead of clicking this button, but you're gonna have an area where you can create an alert just like this, and you can have an alert set to when the trading view crosses a price or crosses up, crosses down, is less than, or you can set it on the chart as well. So for example, if Uber goes from 78.48 to 78.70, I want to add alert right here. So you right click, hit add alert, and it'll do the exact same thing. Click create. And now if Uber comes up to that area, it's gonna play an extremely obnoxious noise telling me exactly what's happening. Those alerts are extremely useful. Next is going to be the replay function. If you pay the $14.95 that TradingView costs for the premium, you will get access to this replay function that will allow you to basically go all the way back in history and start to test your strategy. So for example, if I have a strategy here that 
I use that is basically, you know, bouncing off this rectangle here, then we're gonna wanna go to the downside and short the market. Well, I can go forward like this and see if this trading strategy actually worked. So as you can see here, it didn't work based on the replay function. So you can basically replay bar by bar, but you do have to pay for it. It's not going to be a free function. All right, here you've got your select layout. If you look on the top right of your screen, you're gonna see select layout. Again, on the premium version of TradingView, which is 1495 at least, it is going to be awesome for you. You can split your trades into two different sections. I'm gonna show you how to change the colors in a little bit. This is actually a psychology trick that I learned a very long time ago from one of my mentors. So this is gonna transform your trading, but I'm not gonna show you this just yet. You can split your chart into two charts. You can split it into literally three charts. You can split it into eight different charts if you truly feel like it. You just have to have the plan for it. I think it's gonna cost you at least $14.95 for this. But you have the ability to create a lot of different charts on your screen. You can see I have seven charts on one screen here. For now, we're just gonna keep it on one chart so that we can make it super simple for you and break down everything. Next to that, on the top right-hand corner, you're going to see the save area where you can just save your layout. You can create a new layout based on your chart that you have now. So for example, let's say I've got indicators on my chart. Say I've got the VWAP and I wanna make sure that I save this layout. But you're gonna go here and you're gonna go to save layout. And now if I want to, I can switch between this layout and the one with VWAP. So you can have that stuff saved. Next, you've got a quick search function, just basically to search whatever you want in terms of help. And you've got your settings tab. On the settings tab, you can change the symbols, status lines, scales, canvas, trading events. You can change a whole lot of stuff. So for example, you can change the colors of the bars. You can change all kinds of stuff when it comes to the borders, the wicks. You can even change the session trading hours. I'm gonna explain all of this stuff in a little bit more detail in a couple minutes here, but I wanna break down the interface first for you. All right, so on the right-hand side, you've got your watch list details and news. You've got all of your charts pulled up here. So if I wanna look at this chart or this chart or this chart, basically all just a bunch of different stocks, you can have them all pulled up on this watch list here. Everything else on the right hand side here, completely useless, I promise you. You don't need to use it. There are other applications that'll do it way better. On the left hand side, we've got all of the things to draw on your chart. So for example, you've got your trend line. This is going to be the little arrows that you draw that you see people drawing on TikTok and on Instagram. They've got all their little lines and they show you how to create these patterns. You use those lines there. So all of these different lines are literally all completely different lines just to put on your chart. My favorite is gonna be trend line, horizontal line, and horizontal ray. So horizontal ray is going to basically just be a horizontal line. Horizontal line is going to extend across the entire screen. So those are the two most important. Let's say you wanna do support and resistance as your strategy. So you mark the supports and you mark the resistances with that horizontal line. So those are gonna be pretty important to use here. You do have some stuff here like parallel channels, regression trends. You don't really need to know how to use that stuff just now, it's basically just trend lines but put into you know a more simplified sense next to that you're going to have one that is just known as fibonacci the entire section is just fibonacci i have a custom fibonacci settings set so if you want again if you want a br a whole video dedicated to the fibonacci and dedicated to trading with this tool drop a comment i'm, lo I'm looking at you drop a comment and i will drop an entire video on this but i'm not going to do it unless we get a bunch of comments like i said before all right, below that, you're going to have patterns and you're going to have Elliott waves. So we can grab the head and shoulders pattern and we can use something like this to actually draw the head and shoulders for you. And now you've got a head and shoulders pattern on your screen. I don't use these at all, but they're still useful. Below that, and probably one of the most important that I use is going to be the long position and short position on the projections tab. So long position, this is going to allow you to see what the position looks like on your chart. So you can see, for example, how much you'll be losing versus how much you'll be making. So on this, you can either do short position or long position, and you can do something like this. Let's say you have your stop loss here, and you've got your target all the way down here. Well, now you know, for example, that you've got a risk reward ratio of 3.82 to one risk to reward, which is awesome. You can also see all of your stops. You can see your targets and you can see exactly how many ticks that is for you futures traders. And you can see how many ticks that is up here as well. So 28 ticks stop loss, 107 ticks take profit. It's awesome. So I recommend using that if you wanna actually sh like see what your positions are gonna look like, 
it is super, super important to use the projections tool. Awesome stuff. Next thing down is going to be your brushes, your highlighters, and your rectangles. Rectangles are your best friend. I use them all the time. You can see right here, like I pulled it up earlier, you've got your rectangle tool. So I've got rectangles. You can use your brush. You can basically draw on the chart, do really cool stuff with that. Next thing below it is going to be your text. Super self-explanatory. You literally just type on the chart. I actually don't have anything else to say about that. And then you've got a few tools that I genuinely don't use. Your measure tool is gonna to show you exactly how many bars that you've got there. Your zoom in tool is basically just gonna allow you to zoom into specific bars on the chart. Super, super unnecessary, but you can use that tool for that reason. You also can turn on right here, this magnet at the bottom. So you can turn on a weak magnet or a strong magnet. What that's gonna allow you to do is it's gonna allow you to have, let's say you have a line up here. I showed you guys how to make a line. Save a line up here and you want to create it on a trend. Well, you can use it and it'll lock on with the magnet to the highs and the lows. So you see here, it locked onto this. So it's creating that trend for you. You don't have to like guess, it'll create everything for you. So let's say we have this horizontal line here, but we can go right up here and we can just slap that there with the strong magnet. So pretty useful. I would say I would turn that on if you need to. If not, then you just turn it off. All right, we got half the chart broken down, but we still have some stuff to do here. On the bottom here, you can see basically the chart on different time frames and intervals, which is similar to this right here. It's literally the exact same thing. So you can see this is a three month, this is a six month, this is a year to date, one year and five year. Next, we're gonna move on to the bottom panel here. So you've got your trading panel. If you decide that you want to, let's say, paper trade or you want to trade with a brokerage or a prop firm you're going to have to go through this trading panel here so if you start paper trading this is an awesome awesome thing to do connect right here and now you're going to see we have an account called sean solano and it's got fifty thousand one hundred and sixty dollars so you can go to new account here on paper trading and you can basically start a brand new paper trading account what this is is it allows you to trade using fake money so let's say we you know type this test and we have $1 million in this account. Does that work? Oh, $10 million. We create a new account and now this account has $10 million. If I want to, I can place a trade. Let's say I place 200 units. The trading session is not open, but I can literally place the buy button and it allows me to simulate the trade as if it's real life. Next to that, you've got your strategy tester. This is for you people that are trying to create algorithms and whatnot. I would not use this stuff if you're just trying to day trade. But if you're a developer or something, you can actually create strategies and create um, algorithms and indicators for other people to use. So for example, you've got your Pine Editor as well. This is again, going to help you create your algorithms and create your stuff. Stock Screener is gonna be pretty awesome. You're gonna be able to see stocks based on what their performance is. So for example, this is a strong buy. So if I go to this stock here, you can see that it is trending up very, very much. And this is a strong buy signal. If we go to all of these stocks here, you'll see they all show a lot of potential to go to the upside and they are all strong buy ratings. So you can use that there and you can search from a whole bunch of different things. For example, you can search from just the general performance. You can search for how they were performing in like once the market closed, you can search for all kinds of stuff here. So it's pretty cool. I usually keep this tab completely minimized and I just look at my chart. So that is the basic rundown of TradingView. I showed you everything on the screen, but I have some really cool stuff that I want to do with you. So now you have an entire breakdown of how the entire application works, but now I'm gonna show you a few things that have actually 1000% changed my trading. So make sure you watch all of this very carefully and even rewind it if you have to. So my charts will look a little bit differently than most people's charts. The first thing that I always make sure that I do is I have my Symbol search, you go to your favorite stock, whatever it is that you're trying to find. So SPY, for example, you wanna make sure that you've got two charts open. Why is this? Because I wanna make sure that I've got what's called multi time frame analysis. I wanna make sure that I'm looking at two different time frames at the exact same time to make sure that my time frames are lining up and things are going in the direction that they're showing. There are times where you think that everything's going in one direction, but it genuinely isn't going in that direction on other time frames. The second thing that I would always make sure to have on is to make sure that you go to your settings tab and you go to your regular trading hours here. What this is gonna show you is when the market closes and during the pre-market, you're going to have sections here blocked off to see what the market was doing during those times. Very important because you kind of want to be in the know of what's happening during that. I also changed the colors here so you can change it to 
orange and change it to blue the way that I have it, or you can change it to however you want. The next thing that I do, and you can see right here on this side of the screen, we've got white and black candles. And on this side, we've got green and red. A very, very big psychology tip for you guys is to make sure that you turn off the colors of the candles because you see red and what does that mean? It means sell, it means panic, it means literally all the things that red means, right? Stop, all these different things. So you wanna turn off the colors because that's going to make your brain a lot less scared when entering trades. So go to your settings here, go to symbol and find the body. I turn the body of the, of the upward candles to the white and I turn the body of the downward candles to gray. So you can see here we've got gray and white candles. You can also do gray and black. You can do gray and blue. This is essentially how my chart is going to be set up. Now, if you have your chart set up this way, you'll start to see that it is a lot easier to pay attention what a stock to what a stock is doing. So let's pay attention to, for example, here where we see that this stock is going to the downside on the five minute. Now, what this allows you to do with two screens open at the same time is it allows you to see what's happening on a lower time frame and give you a better perspective on what is happening on the chart. Subscribe. Bye.